Hello guys, welcome to Passive Earn. In this video, I am going to review No Code. No Code is a tool by which you can turn your Google Docs into a functioning website. That means you can create a No Code basic website by using this tool, and your website will be hosted on your Google Drive, and your Google Docs will be converted to a complete website. I hope you get the basic idea, guys, about this No Code tool. And if you see, they are saying that no code is a web app that lets you use Google Docs to create and manage professional website all without any coding. And if you see the lifetime deal pricing of no code, they are offering up to license tier five and the license tier one pricing is only 69 USD. You can create up to 10 websites by using this license tier one and the highest license tier offer 500 websites and see you know, these are the features that you will get with all of these tiers so these are the things guys and you will also get here e-commerce solution password protection then stripe integration mobile optimized easy contact form ssl secure page password protection 100 gb bandwidth per site and 1 gb storage per site so these are the things guys i hope you get idea about this tool and this tool has been launched on appsumo on july 11 2021 and as of now, I'm recording this video today is July 13, 2021. And within this time, it has gotten one review. Let me check the review. See, this person is saying that really impressed. So these are the things, guys. Now, without further ado, let's go to the dashboard of no code and let's see how things works here and how you can create a website by using this tool. But before that, one thing I want to mention, guys, I have created a VIP lifetime deal discussion group on Facebook. This community is completely dedicated to discuss about various up-to-date lifetime deals available on the market. So if you're interested to join such group, guys, you are cordially invited to join. I'll give the link of this group in the description and in the comment section of this video. Now, this is the dashboard of no code. At first, you have to allow no code to your Google Drive access. See, I'm allowing it. You have to allow it. After that, just continue. Whenever you will log in or sign up, you will get this interface, guys and then uh, here give the name of your website let's say the website name is passive no code and from here just click next and now see there have some template you can change the template later guys you can edit the template you can do everything basically by using these templates and uh, let's say i will select this business template there have six templates see they have block template business template, central template, uh, CV template, minimal and documentation template. Let's say I'll choose this business template. You can see the example from here also. So if I see the example, see this is the example of the website. It's a very basic website. Here have one logo, here have some menu, here have some content and then there have footer. So these are the things guys and see if I go to the about section, let me go to the about section. See, this is the about section. See, this is the about section and then if i go to the services section then see this is the services section so these are the things is it's basically google doc see it's basically google doc in google doc you can write in this way you can give heading you can insert image in google doc and then your google doc will be converted a complete website by using this tool how amazing it is so these are the things guys. you can see the example of the sites from here now let's say i'll choose this one the business just click here choose and then here have the color so you can change your brand color if you want from here i am not changing but in your case you can change if you want and then just click here create website so then it will take some time and then it will create the website So the website has been created guys let it be load now all the menus all the footer that has been created on this website your google drive will have one copy of them you can view it on your drive folder so if i go to the drive folder see here have footer option right bar sidebar top bar these are the things guys See, they are automatically will create one folder named with your website name. In my case, my website name is Passiver No Code. And under Passiver No Code, there have footer, 
right bar, side bar, top bar. And now if I click here next, here you will get the website backend basically. Here you can design your website from here. So these are the things guys. See you can edit by using Google Doc. See if I click here on this edit Google Doc, then it will redirect me to this page. See this page is complete a Google Doc page. And this Google Doc page has been converted here into a website. I hope you get idea guys about this feature. Now if you change anything, let's say you want to keep here Pessivern, not business. So if I write here Pessivern, let's say Pessivern and then this one and then if I go here, okay, uh, it's saved. See the um, content or the text has been changed. I hope you get idea guys. It's very easy to set up and you do not need to know any coding knowledge to use this tool and it's very easy to set up and use. And here you can add your logo. Let's say I will upload my file. So let's say this one is my logo. Not this one. Let's say this one is my logo. So it will be uploaded on your Google Drive basically. And from the Google Drive, it will extract the image. Site name is Passivern No Code and then save. So see, and this is the site name and this is the logo. Similarly, there have a menu, see home menu, about menu, service menu, contact. So these things under menu, right? Now, if I go to the Google Drive and here have, let's say top bar. Okay, these things are under top bar. See, these are the things that are under top bar. So now if I enter here, let's say I will enter here on this top bar. See here have about contact home service and if I go to the top bar here have about service contact and home. These are the things guys. Now let's say you want to create another menu on the top bar. How to do that? Just go to your Google Drive and here create a new folder. See just create a new folder. Let's say the folder is for video. Then you will see another top bar or another menu on the top bar named for video. So if I click here create see it has been created the for video has been created now if i let me see if it is available here okay let me reload it okay so it's not available here i'm not sure why now let's say i'll create one google doc here let me create one google doc See, this is on Google Doc. Let's say the name of this Google Doc is for video 2. And then I will enter some text here. Let me copy some text from here. Let's say I'll copy this text. And then if I paste these things here, let's say this is my um, Google Doc. So it has been created under this one. Let it be come here. See for video 2 has been created here. I hope you get idea guys. Now, I hope it will be uh, come here. So, if I reload it. Okay, it's not coming here. But there have another option add. So, if I click here add. Okay, I have to import these things from Google Drive basically. If I uh, just create it on my Google Drive, it will not import it automatically i have to import all the things from google drive so let me import it guys i'm sorry about it so i have to click here add and then i have to import and then insert here and go to your file where it is available let's say i want to select this for video 2 see if i select it for video 2 then it will be imported to this top bar i'm extremely sorry guys for wasting your time but this is the process by which you will get your basically menu on any top bar or on any footer. So these are the things and see they have two same menu in the top bar. Let's say you want to remove it. So just click on the gear icon and then remove it. So these are the things I hope you get idea. After that they have settings option. So 
let it be load see they have settings option if i go to the setting and here have the name so you can change the name of the menu from here and they have action you can make this page as a home page so these are the things guys i hope you get idea and after that they have overall setting for every section see this setting is for menu or top bar and see here you can short by date by name and manually so you can drag and drop these things and then they have hidden item you can also keep here any hidden item and then they have uh, drive folder you can get access of your drive folder just from here so it's very basic after that they have layout see you can change the layout from here at first it will show the document and then let's say you want to show one social link after this document content so just drag and drop it let me drag and drop it and then here insert your facebook url let's say the facebook url is this one facebook.com slash let's say this is the facebook url similarly you can add here twitter linkedin youtube pinterest and instagram url and after adding just save it and then it will be added i hope see it has been added now there have sitting option you can edit these things from here and they have settings you can uh, keep it in left in center and in right let's say i'll keep it in center and vertical align will be also center and you can change the padding also from here so these are the things guys and now it will go to the center and then they have option for layout see uh, they have option for layout you can also add different layout from here i hope you get idea and you can export these things as a layout also so if you are a freelancer then you can also do freelancing by using this tool you can just design your template from here and then you can export the layout from here so these are the things guys i hope you get idea now if i close it and then see it has been edited see here is the um, facebook icon or social icon that i have been added right now so these are the things guys, and here it will be added automatically similarly they have footer option on footer option they have similar settings and then let's say you want to add any other menu on the footer option see they have add option you can just add any type of menu in the footer in this way i hope you get idea guys about this tool and the tool is really amazing and very basic tool and then they have option for publish see if i click here on overall setting they have publish option setting option resync drive enable proof mode publish history you can see from here website list you can see from here what is website list in the um, lifetime deal plan you can create a lot of websites see on license tier one you can create 10 website on license tier five you can create 500 websites so you can see all your website list from here so these are the things after that they have option for logout guide and get help i hope you get idea guys about this feature now let's say um, your design is ready and then you want to publish it just click here on this publish and then here um, it will be published basically and it's building the site map guys see i hope you get idea and it downloading the document it extracting the image indexing page so these are the things you can copy the url and then you can also see the website preview from here let me publish it and then okay it has been published now if i copy the url and then if i open it in another place see this is the website so these are the things guys i hope you get idea and you can edit everything if you can edit google doc then you can edit everything of this website basically i hope you get idea let's say i will go to the service section see this is the service section so these are the things guys and if i go to the contact see this is the contact page and then uh, this is the other pages that i have been designed so these are the things guys. i hope you get idea about this tool you can also add here custom domain if you get this lifetime deal from appsumo guys so these are the things guys and if you think guys you need this type of basic website builder by using which tool you can convert your google doc into a website then you can get this no code lifetime deal from appsumo only buy it if you think you need it and i'll give the link of this amazing deal in the description of this video you can get at least 10 percent discount on this pricing just go to the description of this video and get the 10 percent discount on no code lifetime deal 
and the last thing is visit our website www.pesivan.com to get more tips and tricks about growing online business also join our vip lifetime deal discussion group through the description of this video and if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel yet guys then please consider subscribing this channel thank you so much guys for watching this video